A very good morning to you, our esteemed viewer, and welcome on our today's episode on Chapakazi Mta Ali. Today we are at Maryland, a lady who owns a shop here that sells milk clothes. Please do join me, baby notary, as we get to know what she does to earn a living. Mimi naito Mary. I own Maryland Weddings Shop. Ninafanya kazi ya kuuza men suits, men wears, men's wear mm -hmm. from their panties to the full suits, shirts, the bow ties. We also plan events like weddings, upper Maryland weddings. You come with your colors and then we 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 we, we plan for you on how to match the colors uh, to make a perfect wedding. So we supply all kind of clothes here in Akuru and even outside. And uh, tunashukuru mungu kwa sababu ametusaidia over the years. Mm -hmm. Na tunashukuru tumefika hapa tumefika. We also do uh, girls clothes uh, in another shop. Mm -hmm. We supply the flower girls mm -hmm. uh, with their shoes and uh, all the attires that match together for flower girls. Like uh, the crowns, the gloves, the shoes, and all the decorations that we do for the flower girls. We also plan for the flower girls. We also arrange for you. Uh, for the maids, we have tailors around who we, I mean, come together with them. And so we make sure we make you a good wedding. Okay. Yes. So maybe out of all businesses, how did you just decide to do a wedding shop? Uh, before, I ventured into business a bit longer ago. I was doing mobile phones, and that's why I have a small uh, entity here for, I do M-Pesa and small mobile phones. So when I started before, I was working with Kensel Communication, uh, and so I started my mobile shops, quite a number of them in this town. But a time came when I just decided, I used to work in a bank, in every meeting, and people would ask me, are you selling this? You know, uh, everybody would ask me, are you selling your handbag? Are you selling your shoes? Are you selling your skirts? And so I realized, oh, I think I can do very well in business. So that's where I just prayed about it and uh, God directed me to do girl shop. So that is the one that I started with. And along the way, uh, nikakuta wakati nina peana girl dresses when I was supplying the, the flower girls attires nikakuta men walikuwa nauliza kwanza zetu ziko wapi you know and so I realized kumbe the wedding is not only the girls hata wanaume wanahitaji so I prayed again about the the, 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 the men's wear na nika develop a, a very good a very a very a very heavy uh, urge ya kuweka uh, men suits. Nikakuwa tu nikiona every time I was dreaming, I was seeing men suits. I <laughs> arranged the suits before I got the shop. Okay. So I prayed for the shop together with my husband and I thank God. Finally, Mungu alifungua um lango na ninashukuru Mungu. Eh. Maybe for how long have you been in this business and how can you term this business? Uh, this business is God given, number one. Eh, na ninamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu nimekuwa kwa biashara tangu 2 or 4 is when I opened a small shop behind here a very small one and uh, I was only doing the mobile phones eh, and you remember I was I was assistant manager cancel communication so I used to take their product ninauza ninawacha ka biashara ka faida kidogo narudisha mali yao so that's how I started. Kutoka, I remember I paid that shop 35000 for the rent. Yeah, it should be three months. Then I did not have any other money. You see, I had to ferry my cousin from home. Dia ni angalilie the shop. So over the years, nikakuwa nikifikiria kwa nini nisi jiranie the shop like that, like that. Na mungu wakafungua mlango. Mi nashukuru mungu. Nashukuru mungu. Japokuwa nimekuwa nikipenda biashara kutoka nikiwa mtoto mdogo. Out of poverty, tulikuwa na shida mingi sana nyumbani. In fact, at times I used to ask my, my father, wewe ni mwanaume kweli, unasemanga wewe ni baba ya watoto wewe. Aki tulikuwa tunafukuzi wata school fees. Ya 50 shillings a whole family ya muna. So from that time, nikakuwa na develop, nataka kufanya biashara, na nashukuru mungu. Hapa kwa hivyo nilianza tamaa ya biashara nikiwa mtoto. Nikakuja, nikaandikuwa na cancel communication. Nikaanza kaduka kadogo kako hapa tu, in this building. Up at so I sold that one, I bought another one in front. So from there, 
Uh, now the rest is now history. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we may say for a while you share and equal Mahali and now you are self employed. So how would you say what are the benefits of self employment as compared to being employed? Number one, before I say the benefits of uh being as being self employed, before you get into there, you must be very very honest pale umeandikwa kitu ya kwanza kwa sababu mimi nakumbuka wakati niliambia cancel then ilikuwa owned by Vivedi na Samia group it was a big company then and i remember i used to win so many awards they used to they used to applaud me in a way that sometimes they would take me to big hotels five star hotels because of doing very well and so i realized uh, they really they loved me in fact the the, the 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 management loved me so much i remember this one time vitu zilipotea simu zilipotea za pesa mingi sana and then mobile phones were very expensive so zilipopotea we were working with watu wengine walikuwa na shares kwa vivedi wengine walikuwa na shares kwa samia na mimi i was from that small family that very poor wanuko eastern uko so i remember because of my work they did not sack me actually i survived they did not sack me and everybody was asking who is your godfather here yeah. so me i told me i don't have a godfather poverty is my godfather and so number one, before you you become before you employ yourself you must be honest to whoever you're working for so i was very honest with cancel until one time when i when i wanted now to come out and start my own business um i wrote a letter i lied to them i'm sorry if they will listen to this i lied to them that i was going to advance my studies in igaton so they before they granted me they told me kindly train for us other people who will be as honest as you for three months na wakaniongeza mshahara so before ujiandike once you become very faithful na kazi ya mtu mwingine hata ukifungua kazi yako Mungu atakusaidia so hiyo ndio naweza ambia watu you cannot you 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 cannot be dishonest and one time ufikirie kufungua biashara you will also get dishonest people yes that is it because you deal with both ladies and menswear so what will you say kwa sababu kwa watu wengi harusi ni ya wanawake so people maybe wasina ndo wana vitu vingi vya kununua wana nguo nzuri nzuri za kuvaa lakini sasa leo tuko kwa a month a men's shop nguo zao za harusi so uonza semaje market ya men suit iko aje as compared to nguo za wasichana ah number one, men believe on their pockets so much so biashara ya men ni mzuri it is so juicy why because uh, mwanaume akipenda uh, hawezi anza kukuambia na nikipata unajua ladies ladies i am a lady La, i also used to do ladies i finish kabisa ladies will come to maybe anataka hii kiatu anakuja na kuambia na heza pata hii kiatu lakini hapa they, they make their own shoes in the shop they make their own their own clothes in the shop mm -hmm. they, they they want to make their own design yes, yes. Uh, from what you have imported mm -hmm. so men will never awata wai kukusumbua siku hata moja watakuja if they want that color that is the color they want they have no problem they don't want it to have a band behind they don't want a pattern here so men have no problem once they find their trousers unawapatia the mishipi they are contented and a man would walk into a shop find a suit find a trouser find a shirt find the belt find the vest and they take all of them from one shop and they take and also i realized um uh, the boy child has been decluttered all shops if you walk like along here you'll find kuna shop za wanawake kama kumi na moja tu na kama ni ya mwanaume haina vitu vya wanaume kabisa and that is why i decided i want my men to feel special and you know uh, wamefikiriwa kwa sababu i want a man to walk in this shop and feel very free to 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 fit and feel very free to ask anything kama anataka underpant ataogopa kwa sababu kuna mama amesimama hapo okay, yeah, yes yeah. because they fear uh, so uh, i really wanted to make our men feel special and again uh, um, uh, among my very many children i happen to have uh, two boys you see so at one point when i was doing the girl dresses my son used to ask me aki mom wewe unachukia vijana hii duka hata inanga nguo ya vijana so i would feel like anaskia ni kama is not counted so when i put this one they are very happy they even come sometimes wanasema eh hey, mom sasa naona muli tufikiria mom nataka hii suti mom nataka fest nataka panty hivo so wana feel hata wao wako counted yes 
So maybe in a count, in a day, how many customers do you get? Because weddings are seasonal. So labda kuna ile mwezi ambao unauza sana, kuna wengine ambao uzi, ama kuna wale customers too, they are not doing weddings, but they just want a suit. Yeah. Uh, in a day, I get so many customers. Uh, I want to thank God, number one, because of the customers, because of the clients that God has given me. Number one, I, 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 I sell to pastors. You see, like if you get into this shop, you will find, you will meet so many pastors. And that one, I thank God for. Uh, my clients, most of them are pastors. And you see, pastors buy suits almost every time. And I get referrals from the pastors. Okay, I also have now the, the, the weddings. You, you see weddings, when I'm doing like one wedding, one wedding would take from me like um, a minimum of 20 suits, including the boy suits, the men suits, the shirts and everything. And um, uh, if you realize, I put uh, some few bridal shoes. So I also mind the brides, only the brides, and maybe the brides, the brides uh, lady, the, the, the maids. Yes, the maids of honor. So I, 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 I have a test for the shoes. So I make sure I get them very nice shoes. And that is why uh, I make sure I, I, I give them the rings. In one wedding, I do a good sale. So and weddings, I book the weddings on a daily basis because you see weddings are seasonal, sure, like you've said. And from the weddings, from those that do weddings, I get referrals from them. You see, when the weddings, and that is why I make sure your wedding is, I match the colors very well so that those who will attend the wedding and them, the, the, you see the ones that now the, the, the groomsmen and the maids of honor, uh, most of them finally they also do weddings. So they will want, they will see and even the attendants they will come and want to know surely uh, who did for you. So I get referrals and these weddings we book them in uh, from January throughout and our high to book the weddings yourself. Yes, we book the weddings, we book the weddings on uh, b before before the wedding now. Now they start bringing their deposit, they bring their measurements, so we make sure we have the designs they want and the sizes they want on time, you see? So like uh, we get the weddings, the most weddings are done in, um, in April, August and December, you see? And along the other months, I thank God we have done weddings almost all the months. Every month we have a wedding. We don't miss a wedding. And so like the high season, we do like we, there's a jam like this. So we get our referrals from them that come to fit for the weddings. We, there are also those that when they come and see, you see, we also lose our loved ones. They also come and take, you see. So we get referrals like that. And you know, we started doing the girl dresses. My girl dress shop is known all over. Uh, people refer people to there because they know I do from one day to class eight so i have the bigger sizes all along so uh, i thank god i thank god my clientele i get almost every time and uh, i thank god i'm always busy yes and maybe dealing with customers is not easy yeah. so maybe what will you really say is your way of customer service mm -hmm. and maybe labda imetokea siku katengezea mtu kitu because sometimes weddings can be hectic yes. and they feel like this one is not correct yeah. so how do you get to handle such people yeah, mine is a bit simpler because I import my suits. We also import the shoes. The girl dresses, we import them. We don't make them. We do not make, we, they are not tailor made here. We import everything. So our, our clothes are ready made. So you fit to your satisfaction. We have fitting suits. And surely we also get some, 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 some problems when people come and fit. There are people who don't even know their color. They start choosing color from day one. To, 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 to the wedding day. So we have problems. Some people say like the prices are high, you know. Uh, but one thing, we, the business that I do, uh, I am a woman of God. So I pray for the, I pray for, for the business. And we pray that our customers get satisfactory from what we give them. And so in case of any problem, we have patience. We listen to that customer. I personally handle them myself. If there's any problem, I don't let them get handled by the staffs. So I handle them. I, I get to know the problem because I have done sales and advertising professionally. So I know. So I give that touch of it a bit and I make sure the customers feel home. They all call me, call me mom. So every time they come, they say, I know, I just want to see mom. Because I listen to their problems. I make sure somehow we solve it. There are people who buy even shirts. They go wear them. 
Then they come, they say this was not fitting and already they have worn them. So I reason together with them, putting a touch of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in me. And at the end, we agree to agree. So we, we, we try to manage stress. We try to manage it. There are other people who come even say, like uh, the colors that we booked are not there. There are people who would book wedding in January. They are doing it in December. So you see the, the fabric that they come and find or the color in Asia. To kifika December, hakuna hiyo color. What do you do? I call them, I sit them down. There are others even, I call them, I go sit them in a hotel. Then I explain, pole pole. Wanasema, eh, nyewe tumeshika. And then you buy that person like tea. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, unamueleza, anashika. Na wale ya washiki, uwe ninasema mungu tu atawasaidia. Yeah. Lakini, a number like 90%, wanashika, wanaelewa, na wanaenda wakiwa omeridika. Yeah. So, we have clients all over. We have clients in Mombasa. We also sent. We sent, we sent our products. Like, when they see, you know, people travel after doing the wedding. We have done weddings in Uganda, many of them. So, we sent. We also sent. We have done in Anyuki. We have done all over. So we send our, our products, you send us our measurements, your measurements or your waistline, and then we get to give you the exact fitting suit. Okay. Yes. You've said you import your suits and and even maybe the shoes. So how is that process for you of importation? Because government it has put taxes are too high mm -hmm. and everything. So maybe how is that importation process for you? And maybe even transportation, maybe is it a challenge? It is such a challenge. Kwanza for the past in this year, this year and last year, imekuwa shida kabisa. The government imetuletea shida mbaka tume protest. And you know we have network. We have network. You don't need to go every time. We have network and you have designs. So the design that you want, you can be able to maybe do it even when you're here. Uh, life has become a bit simpler because of the, 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 the I mean, communication and the, 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 this mobile phones and the networks and all that kind of stuff. But government ya Kenya imetusumbua sana. Wanaongeza kila siku. Wanafungia mali. Tunayombea sana. Kwa sababu imekuwa challenge. Lakini all, all the same, tumeweza na tunaendelea tu kuwaombea wajue ni sisi tunafanya kazi sana. Tunafanya kazi sana. Wakijua ni sisi tunafanya kazi sana. We invest so much for us to get small margins. Alafu wakitusumbua pale, pia kuna challenge kubwa sana ya when you're bringing your goods. Zinakatwa, kuna makata hema. Hai, there's a time after my goods were coming, zikakatwa. So, it is a challenge, but tunashukuru mungu. Mm. Other challenges that you have? Other challenges as a business person. Or challenges as a business person are so many. There are so many. Starting from propagandas. Hey, like kuna watu watasema watu wanatumia kamuti. Na kumbuka wasena wangu siku ingine walisema, waliniambia haji, eh, ma'am, uyu mutu, mwakisha karibu, karibu nani? Uyu mutu, ati wanasemanga, hii kitu imeka hapa, ni kamote. Ati wanasema, the way tunauza sana, kwanini sisi tunauzanga sana. You see, so there are those propagandas, people who die. Alafu unajua wakisikia tumeongea kikamba, wanajua mukamba na kamutini kitu moja. So unajua there are those propagandas, wanasema, this shop, kwanini nauzanga kuliko maduka zile zingine. I, uh, there's another challenge, when I did this shop, you know, what? This, this, this designer was given my go, by God in a dream. So when I did this way, walk to town. All my competitors have turned their shop to this one. I have gotten so many customers who come and tell, Mamu haki tunashukuru, umefungua duka ingine. Because there are shops, many shops in town right now, they look like this. So there's that competition. But competition is very healthy. It is very healthy. It is very good when, when we compete like that. It is very good. We are friends with them that has done like this. They come. Others even send the fundis. Wanasema, enda kwa Maryland ukaangalie. So unaona sasa, my customers would now get lost coming. Wakienda wakute shop in a car. If you wanaona, kumbe uku ni kwa mam tu bado. You see? So there's that challenge. And uh, one thing I know, uh, any business without challenge is not a business. And any business without competition is not business. So competition in business is very, it's very okay. It is, it is, it is allowed. And diombolea uh, ya biashara. So eh, na pia fluctuation of the prices. Sometimes unaenda unaleta mali yako, ukikuja kufanya the offerheads, ukifanya kila kitu nakuta iko very high. Your competitors are giving cheaply. So now una, unakikisha, 
umeinua game yako kidogo by bringing better fabrics, better designs like that. Yes, so since you mentioned that serikali inashine mwapandisha kila siku maybe what will you propose the government to do in terms of ensuring that business people okay they get their goods but still mkikuja kuuzo jyo pia customer kuja apati kwa juu sana wakenya tu wakenya ni wakenya na customer ni customer ataenda kutafuta ili nikuchiv some won't understand about the quality and everything so maybe what is your proposal to the government what I would propose to the government the government today should know business people in Kenya ndio wanainua economy ya Kenya na kama kuna vile government ya uhuru inaweza angalia watu wa biashara na zile vitu tunaleta kwa sababu biashara mingi zile vitu tunaleta ni vitu vinye vina 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 vinapeana kazi hata kwa wana Kenya na hiyo ni agenda ya the president kuhakikisha watu wamepata kazi sana sana wana youthi ningesema serikali ituangalie na kama inawezekana hata ushuru ya kulipa kwa mali ambayo tunaleta ikuwe chini nyakati mingi watu tunaleta designs na zinakuja zinafungiwa pale by the time ifunguliwe hiyo design imeisha kwa market so unakuja unauza kwa hasara kama 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 tu wanaweza wanaweza kutuhurumia na waweke njia ya kuhakikisha mali pale imekuwa cleared very fast ndio tufikiwe na mali yetu mapema ingekuwa mzuri zaidi na ni economy ya Kenya sisi tunainua siku kwa siku tunalipa ushuru eh? tunaandika watu na kwa hivyo kama kuna watu wa kuangaliwa kabisa katika nchi ya Kenya ni sisi uh, kitu kingine um, kama kwa county government hapa hapa nakuru kama our governor liki nyanjui Eh ni vyema pia atuangalia kwa sababu mara kwa mara unakuta watu wanakimbishwa na wanafanya biashara eh tumefungiwa sijui ati hata wakikuja wakute ujaweka license yako pale mbele P- pia ni shida na umelivu you know so ni vizuri watu angalie na wajue ya kwamba ni sisi tunainua county eh ni sisi na tunapambana usiku na mchana hatulali there are people who don't sleep me i remember there are times even my husband would be in migori at 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 7 in the morning na watu wengine hata hawajamu kazi unaona sasa so sisi wana biashara tunaamka mapema tukifanya kazi ili tuinue county na kama kuna kitu kama kuna hata kitu yenye county ya gov, county government ya nakuru ama ya any other uh, uh, place in Kenya should consider business people who are doing business rightly unajua kuna watu wengine wanafanya biashara mbaya illegal business look at us see what we do give us space Yes so that we 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 grow the counties we grow Kenya together. Mm-hmm. Yes. So maybe you need to ask me what types of designs do you have because I'm a lady I won't know much about suits maybe na your tuxedo tu peke yake and I can see you have a variety mm-hmm. so maybe utaonesha ni gani na size ni gani ambayo iko kwa market sana. Mm-hmm. Uh right now you know Nakuru Nakuru is a, is a, is a town that is not very uh, very high watu wake pia wachache wanaelewa mambo ya suti na wengi wao they don't mind they don't mind so they want a cheap suit that will be friendly to their pockets so we have suits from we make our suits we give them our names we give them our brands like uh, right now we have stones we have stones and our stones have Uh, there, we have variety of stone. we have diamond stone we have stone breeze we have blue stone so we have majored on stone then apart from those ones we have john oxford we have lorenzo we have so many suits and then that designer suit you know the suits we sell them according to the fabric you can call your suit whatever name like like next year i'll be doing my own suits i will give them priestwood bethsaida I will give them godly names. Yes, so uh, depends on the fabric. So we have suits ranging from 150,000 up to 20, 2500. So tunajali mtu wa chini, mtu ambao hatajiweza na ajui mambo ya suti anaanza kujelea kwa suti, tuko na suti za 2500, tuko na suti za 2800 depending with the fabric. Vile zinaenda tuko na suti za 150,000. That's a full suit and a full suit is uh, the the coat sometimes a three piece 
and the trouser, the panty that is. And uh, along uh, uh, this time round, you know, uh, uh, the generation that we have today is a bit funny. They want fitting suits. Our boys want very fitting. Yeah, sure. So what we have done, we have what we have done, we are bringing them standard suits. So we advise them to go and slim them, because if you bring slim. Uh, like I've told you, we deal with pastors. And most pastors don't want those very slim ones. So what we do, we advise our boys to go and slim them to where they want it to be. So we we have them in different prices, and we every client to us is very important. Very important. That was, that's why we have suits from two thousand five hundred up to those ones one hundred and fifty plus. Yes. Want to be employed at Maryland? What do you require, and maybe how do you get to pay your employees? Yes. Uh, uh, there are so many things that you look at when you want to maybe get a uh, staff or to employ someone. Uh, there is a way we look. You know, every employer has a way on how you you, you look. Number one, uh, of course, you look at the papers. If if you get someone who has not done very well in class will not also do well in, in, in work. The IQ will be low. So number one, we also look the level of your IQ. Yeah, because tukiandika mtu yeyote atafukuza wateja. Tukiandika mtu ambao hana pia nidhamu atawafukuza wateja. Kwa sababu unaangalia wale watu tuna deal na hapa wengi ni vijana majua na wale watu pia tuna deal nao ni wachungaji kwa hivyo we are serving in a way so i look uh, when i'm looking i look at a person who has akona pia na respect yake number one masomo yake ni mzuri eh, na kama amefanya sales and marketing it's a plus yes a bigger plus kama amefanya fashion and design is a bigger plus you see so because that person will be able to look at a person and know atavaa gani mpendeze utatoa suti zote you see uh, utajua so tunaangalia pia na pia eh uwa ninaangalia sana watu wanamuofu Mungu sana uwa ninaangalia mtu anamuofu Mungu na amelewa katika njia mzuri uwa ninafuata sana ndio nikimleta hapa asije ikakuwa ghadhabu ya Mungu itaniangukia kwa sababu msana wangu alitembea na, na mchungaji ama aliangusha mtu ama alijibu mtu vibaya ama alikula pesa ya mteja kwa sababu unaona huwa tunachukua deposit so i look at that so much and i want to thank God the girls that i have are very good they are very good i also get recommendations from the clients they tell me eh hey, wale wasana wako ninasikianga wakisema and apparently i i god has blessed me i work mostly with my girls my own girls so eh, nashukuru Mungu na Mungu ni mwaminifu na anybody who comes to this shop who is not directly mine becomes like mine yeah. yes so you can never hata tunafanana tu <laughs> tunafanana kabisa kwa sababu na mimi i, I like um, napenda sana kukaa at their level eh ukikuja hata uwezi jua uwezi jua who is who so because so that i make sure i create a good environment where they can work when they are free and uh, at least when I zaniambia hata zile shida wako nazo uh, when i employ they become part of me in fact niki wa employ wa ninajua mpaka watu wao watu wao wananijua na nashukuru Mungu and apparently all the girls that i have all of them are serving i have pastors i have a pastor a full pastor i have a sunday school teacher i have a nasha yes Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I also employ servants of God. Na nashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo kibali yenu. Maybe tukielekea kumalizia ni neno gani unaweza kwenda kuambia mwanamke mwingine kama wewe ambaye yuko nyumbani and they maybe they don't see the need of working. They wanategemea ile ya kupewa ama kijana mdogo ambaye amemaliza shule ana makaratasi na naona ni kama maybe lazima andikwe mahali ndio afanye kazi. What word of encouragement will you tell them? Yes. Ah uh kwa mwanamke ambao wananitazama leo na pengine unashindwa utaanza biashara namna gani hakuna biashara mbaya sisi wote hatujasoma na hatuwezi kuandikwa kwa cancel kama mimi ndio nikimaliza kufanya kwa cancel niweke biashara hapana mwanamke unayenitazama unaweza anza biashara yeyote hata kama hauna mbele wala nyuma unaweza anza kufulia wa mama nguo upate hiyo shilingi mbili. save 50 shillings for a period of time anza biashara ile biashara 
ilianzwa mnasikia mimi nimesema nilianza biashara yangu nililipa 35000 rent mm -hmm. na pesa ikaisha kabisa mm -hmm. so nilikuwa ninachukua kwa sababu ya honest ile nilikuwa nimekuwa trusted na cancel na kuja ninauza simu moja in fact nilikuwa nimeweka boxes na dummies na kuja nachukua nauza napeleka pesa na baki na my profit so slowly by slowly na any business that any woman would do it is a journey kama vile unaanzanga safari ya kutoka hapa kwenda Nairobi kama vile unaanzanga safari ya kubeba mimba na kuibeba na kuizaa to term biashara inakaa hivyo kwa hivyo you can start anywhere you can start by washing other women's clothes wash those clothes saving anza hata kuuza ma, ma, mayai anza kuuza ile biashara una ukilala hivi unaweza amuka usiku na uifanye enda ukafanye hiyo biashara na Mungu ukiweka Mungu ndani itakoma there are people who are not very good in business be honest get employed slowly by slowly you will even learn from your employer alafu baadaye utakuja kufanya biashara vijana wale wadogo vijana wetu wamejiingisha katika mambo yenye sio mzuri wameona kama kukunywa banki kuenda kuvuta sigara kukula madawa ya kulevya inawasaidia waweze kupigana na hali ya maisha hiyo sio njia vijana wale wadogo serikali imetoka na mambo mingi sana kuna mkiwa vijana kuna pesa zinapeanwa na serikali kama wewe ni mtu ambao uko na discipline mzuri kama wewe ni mtu hata umesoma vizuri na wewe ni kijana mdogo tafuta vile unaezaanza hata kama ni kuandikwa baadaye slowly you know business you develop like i've said it is a journey you start thinking about it i was thinking about business when i was in class when i was in class 3 i remember in my primary nimi nilikuwa nikifunza business education the teacher used to give me the books and i would teach the class because it was inside me i was teaching them because i i was kwanza nilikuwa nasomesha sana juu ya fluctuation ya vile pesa inaenda ikianguka kesho mnakuta mmenunua imenini i loved business and i loved business out of poverty tuko tunakuliwa na chawa kwa hivyo wewe kijana uko hapo nje usikubali hata kuwaibisha wazazi wako usikubali kujiingisha kwa madawa ya kulevya usiseme hata hakuna kazi toka hapo tafuta kazi kama hakuna kazi jiunganishe na vikundi serikali imetoa pesa ya vijana ukiwa hata na kampuni talk to your parents those who are parents were very able wacha wa register companies for you they are very good they are very good uh, uh, kuna kuna vitu mzuri sana serikali imetengenezea vijana ina offer kuna kazi hata muki apply kuna tenders haiwezi kufanywa na mtu unless ifanyu ifanywe na watu wale disabled women na youth na youth ndiye amepewa location ile kubwa na ile percent wanakuja kulipa nayo ni kidogo sana kwa hivyo ningesema biashara ni biashara hata vijana wakianza biashara ya kuuza slippers baadaye utakuwa na wholesale ya slippers develop bill gates alianza how many times akianguka biashara unaezaanza ianguke kesho ianguke kesho hiyo ingine ianguke pray and try very hard and it will just work i just hope i, I just wish i can take a bit of my brains and give it to, you. Give it to the rest of the world okay. <laughs> yes thank, thank you so you much for you. unioneshe ni suti gani ambazo unazo na utofauti gani ambazo ziko nayo na pengine bei okay mm -hmm. so we have different suits mm -hmm. We have suits ranging from uh, 8500. These suits are striped. The fabric is very high and uh, it is slim fit. So we have those ones. We also have others that are two buttoned, uh, different colors, very different colors. And you know here like I've told you we sell to pastors. We know pastors who are the teachers of the world. They take silent colors. So when a customer walks, I've trained my girls into knowing. Like when a customer walks in and asks for a black suit, that is a teacher of the word. So he does not want to speak kwa madhabau. Anataka watu wasikize ile kitu anaongea. We have we, we also have clients who want very shouting colors like these ones. We have these ones. We have those ones also like this one here. Sweet pink. There are very many. We also have very white the white ones. We also have the bishop collar suits like this one. This is also a, a, a that is a bishop collar suit. These ones are very expensive. They have very few people like our we have Reverend Kimani, yeah. Apostle Kimani also does this one and also the people who love him so much also try to do the same. So we also have these suits that are white. These ones are white suits. Our white suits go for 8500 as well. We have them customized 
there are those that are customized in maybe uh, there are those guys who would want their wedding is like uh, royal blue we have some who do like uh, this one this uh, is maroon there are others who do when it is purple so we order we 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 we, we produce them in china when they are customized so we customize like this there's that one that that is white in color but it is very much customized on royal blue so th those ones we do for 8500 and then it is negotiable depending with our clients so there's a price pale wakifika atuwezi acha pesa unajua so tuko na hizi suti zikiwa bei tofauti na colors tofauti they are quite very many our our lorenzo suits we only have them on silent colors very, we don't have them very shouting because guys who do these suits are professionals so they don't want to speak so much when they are walking and these ones go for eight to five thousand so we have them in different prices and in different uh, shapes they are those that are very fitting they call them one button so we have them like this one is one button then we have the two buttons the two button suit is free it is for those guys who don't want to put very very tight ones so this one button suit it is very slim we also have them that have we also have those ones the ones that are three piece inside like this you see so this one is three piece suit it has the piece inside and uh they also go for different prices there are those guys who cannot do without the three piece so we also we also have them in all colors we have them in this color we have it in black we have it in purple hot pink you know all colors we have them also have the checked ones uh the checked ones are full checked suits uh, and uh we also have the full checked suits some have plain trousers, others have checked suits checked all full checked so they also go for different prices we also have uh the the the, the, the boy suits the boy suits range from pilot to plain suits and uh their shirts as well we have their shirts we have their ties we have the french bow ties like uh, and uh the French bow tie comes in uh, three piece, okay? The, the French bow tie comes in different colors. It is very good for the, for the grooms. They look very elegant when, when they, they're having it. Uh, so we also have the same that, and we also have the accessories. These are accessories, yes, like that. So we really, and we have them in different colors. We also have the pull necks. There are those people who don't do shirts. They do pull necks inside. So we have pull necks on different colors we have white ranging from white to all colors yes sometimes the price are uh, vary because of color yeah, no 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 the prices especially for the yes for the suits vary because of uh, because of the colors because they say when they do production for the shouting colors it is very expensive so the most of the shouting colors are very expensive because it is also very hard to get and you know when you're doing production you must do a thousand plus pieces yes. So it is also costly for us and uh, they are slow moving because it does not move like the silent colors. This French bow ties does not uh, matter the color of the French bow tie. The French bow ties have a standard price. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So maybe if we'll talk something a bit about shoes because this is a highlight of the wedding yes. and someone was saying why do brides struggle so much to look for nice shoes na gown imefunika kila mahali but they just like shoes mm -hmm. so maybe you'll tell us maybe brides wakikuja hapa what type of shoes do they like na nikiangalia ambazo umeziweka hapa they are just in silver and white and uh, this one is grey so maybe is indo kale inachukuliwa sana ama kuna wengine pia bado wanachukua colored shoes most of our brides, like I told you, we, 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 we mind so much the brides and the maids. Eh? Uh, we have brides ranging from different, uh, I mean, uh, they, they, they prefer different uh, uh, heights, different designs of a shoe. But mostly uh, brides do these silver shoes and probably white and gray and uh, we have those those girls that want very sharp sh shoes like these ones but here at maryland we look at the bride we make sure we look at the groom mm -hmm. and we also see the bride okay. uh, we can never give a bride who is uh, who is very tall taller than the groom uh, such a shoe okay. 
So that is why we have different shoes. If the bride is, is taller than the groom, so we make sure we get them uh, the shoe according to their height. Why? Because uh, you know, there, is, there, 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 are those, there are those moments that the groom is told to kiss the bride, there are times of feeding the cake, so it becomes very hectic and the man feels a bit, yeah? So we make sure we match them according. Ninaonanga wakicheka kabisa ni kiwambie, buni onyeshe buwana harusi, wanacheka, wakiona ni mfupi na mwambia apana, you either choose this one or this one, or tell me what you want. So wanacheka wanasafa ni ukweli, I want this one. We sell even these ones, we normally have very, very, very tall brides sometimes, eh? So we have them ranging um, from very high, to very short. We have very few brides who would want taking different colors of a shoe. Very few. Very few, but mostly take this color and uh, they also take this gold. Eh? This gold also they take because they also have those brides that are now renewing their, 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 their vows. They were married before, so they take off-white gowns. They prefer these ones. So we have them and we feed them very well. We have very good range of the shoes. Uh, there are those that would want to have a shoe, very few, that would want a shoe that matches the colors of the, bra the, the, the maids. So they would take this one and tell me, Mom, I want to have this shoe on my wedding day, and then afterwards I can be able to do it, you see? So we also have these ones for them, just in case they want that way. So, and uh, our shoes are not very expensive. They range from... Uh, 2000 to 1500 the cheapest is 1500 and we also negotiate we we, we 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 talk around and we make sure we get to a point where at least we are not running at a loss at least we are getting something we make sure they get yes So maybe pia labda kuna shati ambayo mtu mwenye ataki kuvalia koti akivaa hiyo shati itapendeza vizuri kuli kwenye amevaa na koti. So maybe kwa sababu wewe umebobea kwa hiyo biashara. So maybe you can tell us hii inaingia na hii koti and how do you get to convince your customer because kuna mwenye atakuja labda anataka hii. Na ile suti ambayo amechagua haingiani na hiyo type ya shati. So how do you get to convince them that hapana wachana na hii take this is really best for this suit. Okay. Uh, before then uh, we have different types of shirts in uh, at Maryland weddings eh? uh, we have bishop collar shirts the bishop collar shirt looks like this one it comes in different colors all colors this bishop sh uh, collar shirt mostly are uh, worn by bishops and there are those small young men who would also want to look elegant they also want this bishop collar shirt they are fitting shirts uh, bishop collar shirt goes with uh, most of the suits here uh, especially the fitting suits and uh, mostly all the suits go very well with bishop collar shirts so and uh, we supply them to mostly to bishops and uh, they are in different colors they match very well with all suits uh, apparently most of the shirts go very well with the, with the, with the suits eh? because the suit is suits or oh, apart from the bishop collar suit a bishop collar suit most of them we give them pull necks we give them pull necks uh, because they match very well with pull necks you you realize it is up to here so and uh, mostly it is normally put that bishop uh, the collar now 
So uh, we also have these VIP shirts. They are from Turkey. They are fitting shirts. We have them in different colors. There are so many. And we match them alongside with the suits. Uh, it is us who match for our men. Okay. Basically, the way, you know, villain in Meangalia, Wanaume, they don't even know the colors. Men only know black. Only black. The rest of the colors, they don't know. They will tell you blue for gray or blue for orange. I mean, they, they don't know colors. In fact, unashanganga wakishika sutu wanasema na si ni pink. Not si pink, say speak colors. They don't know. So what, what we do, we look at the customer. We are able to look at, like this ones. we are able to look at them and know what kind of a suit it will look good on them. So once we get the suit and they, 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 they wanna paint a color, we match them alongside with the shirts and the ties. So that is how we do. We have these VIP shirts that are very fitting. They are very good. We also have these high quality shirts. These ones are very expensive shirts. They also come in different colors. We have them in very different, different colors. These ones we target much on now the bishops and the pastors who have, and the guys at least who have really worked and at least wana earning. So kuna wale watu na wana ume nimekuta wana jipenda sana. Kuna ule mwenye ata afadhali alipe pole pole. Maka apate kitu mzuri. So we have them this way and we have them in different sizes. Ule mwenye akona kitambi anapata. Na tukona mingi. There are other men who do car show and they don't want to do plain shirts. We also have these shirts for them. Uh, and there are so many in different colors, different sizes. Uh, we also have this one. These ones are a bit low priced. We give them at 800. And uh, this one mostly we target now the grooms men. Unajua vijana wale wadogo wanafanya arusi. Vijana wale wanawasimamia wengi ya wananga kazi. Kwa hivyo tunaangalia, they don't have the, to spend much. So we, we ch tunawangalia sana. We also have, uh, there's another one we do at 500. There's another shirt for 500 which is very good. Uh, this one, uh, kile kilini, kilini sukuma kuleta ni kwa sababu nakuta wanataka kuvaa na wanataka kuvaa vizuri and they don't mind the prices because of their pockets. So tumejua lazima tuwalete vitu kama hizi. So we have them in different colors and in different shapes and uh, we match them alongside with the suits that we have and uh, uh, we make sure it is us. It is us who matches for the men because them mwanaume atavaa suti ya ile ya baby pink, arudi ya weke shati ya orange, uh, juwi. So we match we match for them so that hata kitoka inje anatuletea customer. So us we, we we don't we we are not we are not on selling much. We are on displaying them so that when other people see them they bring them and natumeona ikiza matunda vizuri. So hata there are times they would want and say they would come and say mi nataka kuvaa hii shati kwa ile suti tunamwambia pana. I will give you the shirt that will match. So they have now gotten used. They come and say, match me. Just match me. And then uh, 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 they are comfortable with that. As we come to a close, Ukituangalia hapa tumengara. And these we have been dressed by Maryland. So this is what they do. These are the kind of suits that they have. You can see they even have accessories to match everything that you want. Please come to this shop. Get your suits, whether it's a tie, whether it's a shirt, even shoes for the brides. I have been your host, Beverly Notari, and this is Chapakazi Mtaani.